but we're playing a new game. It is called Cozy Grove. Um, yeah, this is the, the entrance. Let me read the description of the game. The little snippet on Steam says, Welcome to Cozy Grove, a game about camping on a haunted, ever-changing island. As a spirit scout, you'll wander the island's forest each day, finding new hidden secrets and helping soothe the local ghosts. The little time and a lot of crafting, you'll bring color and joy back to Cozy Grove. That's, that's what we're doing today. We're bringing color and coziness to the spirits. It will be a good time. Okay, yeah, I think the music's low enough to where you guys probably can't hear it, but I can hear it a little bit. Um, so I am sorry about that. I just don't want to worry about when I go to upload the VOD if uh, the music will be copyrighted or not. Because <laughs> then I won't be able to use it. I'm actually a little scared still. I'll turn it down a little more. I can still slightly hear it. All right, we're safe slot one. There is a DLC for this game. Um, I did not get the DLC, <laughs> but I'm super excited. Speak with Ranger Charlotte if you're stuck. <gasps> Hello, welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Oh, cute. Pick a little eyeball color. A spirit scout's eyes are a peculiarly unnatural pale shade. They see beyond. <gasps> I kind of love the gray ones. But I like the blue as well. The little hair! <laughs> it's cute. I like this one. Who braids your hair? The world may never know. You can self braid. Looking good. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning from the scouting services. The Spirit Scout motto, all those who are lost deserve kindness. Aww. Okay, so let's see, we got a backpack. We have a little book here. 818, is, this is real time. 818th, September 9th, that's real time. Click on my arrow keys. Uh, I'm using WASD, W-A-C. Hello? Oh, I can also click to walk. We have some coinages. Hello, little fire. Oh. Cat- FLAMEY! How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you would be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? I'm very ready. That's the spirit. 
I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Oh, and then it gives me a little thing. Oh, and then we got some color. Can I... Oh, no, it's just trying to get me to go over there from... Uh... Yeah, so we got some color here. I guess more vibrant color, because, like, this is green for sure. Hello? <gasps> oh! Huh? Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. <laughs> Unless you say you're not... Say you're not a real living person, are you? I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. <laughs> if you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Uh, that's right, 100% bonafide scout. What is that, a problem? A problem? Hmm. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her ma final merit badge. Oh, cutscene. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You here... You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Alright. Oh, this, so like these are our little these are our little quest lines. We gotta get some fire or a log. Hello? Log, anybody? Yeah, we need, like, a bundle of logs or something. Oh. Sometimes objects are hidden on the ground. Oh. Spirit wood. Here is a log for you. <gasps> Whoa! This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? A ghost told me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. <laughs> But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they've passed away. Ah, that spirit wood was fully, or has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth will do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. You've earned a new badge. Log burner? Story advanced. <gasps> Cute! <sighs> so, like... It's... So, they're, like, alive now. They're, like... They were ghosts. But now they're alive. What happens here? Diggable if you had a shovel. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking around. Don't mind me. Look at the little cozy grove sign. Oh, she's sleepy. Can I, like, vibe in one of these chairs? No? <gasps> What's up here? It's like a little step stool, but we haven't unlocked it yet. <gasps> oh, they're running away. No, it's okay. Oh, they're hiding. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, is this my badges? Oh, yes! Look at that. Log burner, beginner. 
I got my first badge. Wait, I love that. It's like an achievement book. Achieve there's an achievement book, there's an entrepreneurship, animal care, endurance, crafting, cooking, decoration, gathering, and exploration. Oh, is this like a recipe book? It looks like it. There's another spirit. Hello. Oh, he looks cute. Oh, I guess you can see me. Hello, Jeremy. So sorry, I figured I'd be invisible. Apology accepted. That's very, very, very kind of you. More than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I, I'm i pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. A branch. It was near the folding chair. Well, there's folding chairs back here. Maybe not the folding chairs we were talking about. Well, here's one. One branch. Totally saw one near some balancing beach stones. There's eggs in this tree! I'm at the beach. I love the little... I don't know if you can hear them, but there's like a... Like a sand, a walking sand sound. Can I go up this way? There's a satellite! <clears throat> and it's raining. These must be quests. Because, uh... That's just what makes the most sense. Because this is, like, still, like, an opened... Open quest. I'm still looking for sticks. Hello? Sticks? Anybody? Oh, they're back! <laughs> they're so cute! What is this? I can't click on it yet. Can I, like, shake these or something? I'm struggling. I said that... Totally saw one near some balancing stones. Balancing beach stones. So close I can taste it. Am I just blind? Oh yeah, literally right in front of my face. <laughs> oh, that's not even the one that I think it said, because if I click on it, it's still near the balancing beach stones. There was, in fact, one right in front of my face, guys. <laughs> They're kind of hard to see, but I think that's just because I'm a little, like, blind. Could probably put my glasses on. Yeah, that's right here. They are. They're kind of hard to see. I ain't lying. Hello. I have your three branches, Jeremy. Look at these sticks. What beauties. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila! Your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lath. Is it lath? Lathe? But if you want to dig up soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits? I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> Aw, darn it. Darn it. Oh, he looks so sad. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. Oh, look. There's more spirits. Yes. Um, can I... Wow. This place is, gets, like, more magical every time we get something new. Can I, can I... You're real. Oh, you disappeared. Come here. I want to talk to you. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dara is so cute. Like, look at all this. I love how it, like, appears with the light, you know? This one's alive. Like, that one doesn't look like a ghost. I wonder if that's a, a, uh, a glitch or something. Is this game a full release, or is it... Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Oh yeah, I can dig the dirt now. What are we gonna find? Whoa, what is this? Quartz gemstones. Apparently the recommended to this is one to two hours a day. So I'm not sure how long this actually is. Okay, I think those might have been the only two dirt mounds I found. But let's, uh... Let's feed him with another spirit log. See what else he can conjure up. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Oh, so we have two we have two people? Two people we can go see? Ooh, that was technically the tutorial. We have finished the tutorial. Yep, tutorial completer. Woo! So fun. Okay, so I think there's two people we can go see. I, you have something for me? <gasps> what is this? <laughs> hello? Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit, but how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the spirit scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's canteens shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. Uh, how can I help you today? I want to buy? Oh, I could buy a fishing rod. How much? 20 old coins? I'll do it. Sounds great. Take my money. Now I have that when I want to learn how to fish. <laughs> this has fruit on it. Okay, he's still here. The other person was on the beach, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we can either do some more of the, or this new guy on the beach, or we can go help... Um, we can go see what... What, uh, Car Charlotte? Charlotte has? Yes. Uh, can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Uh, okay, so there's... There's this leaf pile. Oh. We got a wood and a mushroom. Ooh, soft wood. So her quest is, I think I spotted it near a skull tied, uh, sorry, to a stake. So there's a leaf pile. I know there was a skull down by the beach. Genuinely love this game. I love this game a lot so far. I've never even seen anything on it. So everything is, like, uh, fresh. See, these are the skulls with stakes that I was thinking about. But there does not see. Hello? Can I help you? He's concerned? Are you okay? There's a leaf pile here. Maybe the leaf piles are only, uh... 
Oh no, you can do them here too. I have like 50 hours on this on PlayStation. I love that. Uh, yeah, she wants a page. I don't see the skull on the stake though. I thought that there was one over here. Oh, <laughs> those things are cute. Yeah, I was surprised when I uh, put in the the key I had in the recommended playtime for this is one to two hours a day. <laughs> I like just checked that and I was like, huh? So I can only imagine like how much depth that this actually goes into. Oh, there's leaf power here. Oh, there was something. I saw like a little creature there. I saw his little eyeballs, maybe. I might just be losing it. There's always a good chance. Did the leaf piles come back or is this just one that I didn't see? I'm pretty sure they come back because I'm pretty sure I saw this one too. Can I like hold an infinite amount of stuff? Or <laughs> am I gonna have to worry about inventory? Maybe it hasn't shown up yet because I haven't uh, done this yet. It's very much an Animal Crossing type game. That is exactly the type of game that I wanted. <laughs> I also did install, just putting this out there, I also installed, uh, hold on, Captain. Uh, Traveler's Rest. I found that one in your library. <gasps> no, I, I, I skipped it. I spent from... It's better from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a few hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Oh, I love these pictures. They're really cute. And now I am transformed. Traveler Dust is the game I want the most and I get my PC, I need it. I did buy it and it is installed. Um, I don't know if we'll play that tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Pleased to meet you. I don't know as we've reached a I don't know as we've reached a first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have a uh, precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. I have one of those. I got a badge. Uh, I discovered someone's memories. Is that what this is? Oh, this is necessities. Meet three bears. Ooh, and we got 10 quartz gemstones. <gasps> I love earning badges. That's so cute. <laughs> what I wish that they could do is put a... Like, this is actually reflective of how many badges I have. That would be pretty cute. Hello. I already have a fishing rod because I went and got that first. <laughs> I, sailor, that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. A whopper? We should show the actual badges, yeah. I want to see, like... So I know there's this. I wish you could see, like, the badges at least, like, laid out. So, like, it would... Because it would be fun to, like, fill in the gaps on your, uh, sash. Uh, with where there would be badges. I mean, this is perfectly fine, too, but... <laughs> Double-click the fishing rod to equip it. Oh. oh, I wish it would show me holding it. It's okay. Do I just... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. And you wish I did Girl Scouts as a kid. Uh, Doug was in Boy Scouts. Um, and he did a lot. I wish I was just in Scouts in general. 
um because there's so many things that he knows just like girl scouts hasn't been as much about like doing things in nature and survival skills and things like that um but now the scouts program like the boy scouts being made just into scouts um i uh i really wish i could have been a part of it because there's so many like cool skills that i wish i could have had or learned about do i need like bait or anything oh he walking over Oh, he pushed a little bug away. Scouts just being scouts and not doing specific now is honestly amazing. Well, it there is Girl Scouts still exists, um, I believe. Um. Uh, but yeah, Boy Scouts has transitioned to just Scouts because a lot of girls didn't want to be just in girl scouts because it's like a huge money thing um like with girl scout cookies and fundraising like that's all really good stuff too but i think more people wanted to learn survival skills and everything and boy scouts was really about that so they made it just scouts doug was actually um it became scouts i think when we were juniors in high school and so he he was already the troop leader for his boy group and um and their troop was one of the first troops actually in Ohio to have a girl like a girl scout not not girl scouts like a scout group of just girls cuz they still keep them separated i believe there's like a boy troop and a girl troop but it's all like based in scouts he was actually the troop leader of also the girls troop um like their sister group because they uh they didn't have anybody they were the first thing in ohio doug being a leader is so funny to me <laughs> it's kind of funny to me too um he is definitely a leader it just it does not come across you should see him like teach raids and stuff in runescape you can see it come through, for sure. Har, suppose you want some fishing lessons then. Very well. Select your fishing rod. Use the hold and hand button to equip it. Drag back on the rod and release the cast line. Try it for yourself, young sailor. Okay, so maybe it'll let me do it now. Fish. Yeah, I just want to fish. Like, maybe I just wasn't fishing in a good spot before. Like, I don't need bait or anything. Are we sure? He definitely gives up Boy Scout vibes at times. Yeah, you should see him. We went, uh, we've gone hiking a couple times. Um, he got a sub, I got ads. F on the ads, I'm sorry. Um, yeah whenever we go if we ever go we actually really want to go camping he's still okay he went i think just a year ago camping with some other friends um and hiking and we went on a winter hike uh two years ago and that's an annual hike but we didn't end up going last year because he wasn't feeling good on the day of the hike so we didn't end up going oh josh allen ad me <laughs> do you like ads I'm so intrigued as to what, like, Twitch picks as my ads. Like, <laughs> it makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, we actually want to plan, we actually just talked about it recently, planning a, a camping trip for us to do. We just have to, uh work out like what time of year we want to do it and things like that because the winter obviously the ground is going to be super cold so we'll have to buy some extra stuff 
um, unless we'll be freezing our tuchuses off. <laughs> yeah, we were actually just talking about it. Am I doing this wrong? I feel like I should have gotten something by now. I'll stick to glamping. I can't do bugs. Doug actually told me he was interested in do er, like getting a, a camper one day. Um, because his grandparents, well, they lived in an, they actually lived in an RV for a while, but whenever they'd go take trips up to, like, in front of a fish shadow. Am I just blind? Oh, I see one. I see one. Sorry. I'm just tripping. Thank you. <laughs> I was like... Hello? Very Animal Crossing. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, there's more over here. You know what? I'm gonna catch these guys too. Just because I'm, I'm in the mood. I, I figured it out now. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. What were we talking about? Camping? Oh, Doug wants to get uh, an RV sometime in the future because his grandparents, they'd go visit, like, the national parks and stuff. Um, like, up in Maine. Which I'd love to go do because he said that that is beautiful up there and he loves it. So, obviously, I want to go because I want to see things that he loves. And, um, I've always been interested in outdoor stuff. But I've never gotten to do that as a kid. Like, my family just didn't do that. He's like in my he he would travel up and all around with his grandparents in an rv because they owned an rv and so i think he'd really he'd really like that any fish you can have this scrimp ah a fine fin you've managed to dredge up there good eaten think he and i will have plenty of time for fishing now that your boats wash out to sea <gasps> my boat did what Ah, uh, yes, a loose knot and a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on a merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Oh, no. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes turned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors. Squawk! <laughs> I love that. Yes, look at all that stuff. My dad used to work at Yellowstone and I want to go there so bad. So because Doug was in Scouts, he... They did trips. Like, everywhere. All the time. One of the ones he talks about the most, um, he traveled up to Maine with just his grandparents to go to that national park, but he's gone to, like, the biggest, uh, scout places. Uh, let me see if I can remember. Um... Philmont. It was Philmont's Scout Ranch. It is a whole place just in New Mexico. He's a Blathers Cozy Grove. I love that. Solely in New Mexico, this whole area is blocked out just for Scouts people. So, like, I technically couldn't go there. But that Boy Scout trip, obviously, it was way before we even met. But it was two weeks he went to Philmont and they hiked the mountains there. And he talks about it all the time. And I'm like, well, guess when we have kids, you need to be in scouts just so I can go have that experience because I can't, like, that's not a, like, that's not an open to the public, uh, scout, or that's not an open to the public area. 
he, he they do canoeing they do like uh hiking and fishing and all that stuff just to live off the land basically for two weeks it sounds fun i know right you know what i don't want to feed i don't I want to finish my current quest, which is leaves. This is this is a leaf pile, but it's made me want to like I've always wanted to hike or camp or whatever. But like I said, that is not something my family does. Um, so I've never gone to experience it. So I kind of got lucky with Doug being uh, in Scouts. I didn't tell you about my first rowboat two weeks ago. Ooh, that's exciting. What for? Just for funsies? Is this a leaf pile? See, there's a little guy in this one. I see him. It kind of blows my mind that this is a real-time game. Like, down on the bottom right. That's real-time. So, I, I, like, can't even, uh... Oh, I found it. I can't even, uh, like, see this game in daytime yet. If, if, if this game has a daytime. I'm assuming it does. That's why there's a time to begin with. It was very, very categorized. I camp for a party and decided to go. I see. There you go. I I have this wilderness guide for you. That's it. Why? It's an old spirit scout wilderness guide. Oh, hey. The memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits, which I have to admit you've gotten pretty a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the Memento Collection book now? Yes, please. That's a spirit. Here it is. Oh, so like... Oh, so it's there. So there's 17 spirits. And we have to discover their... Moment or their memories? I guess. That's... Honestly... Amazing. Oh, she gave me another spirit wood. Oh. I feel like I have so many things. Is there like a storage here or something? Just me and three of my cousins. One of our oars ended up in the waters. My cousin decided to jump out and grab it even though he doesn't like swimming. He got back in the fine, right? Bro, I can't believe my boat's gone. Pretty cringe. <laughs> Alright, I guess you can have the fire now. Ooh. It is. Clothing collection. Stuff in my storage. Upgrade my tent. 12 additional storage. 5,000 coins! I have 500. Okay. Um. Do I want to put stuff in storage? No. I'm going to wait to put stuff in storage until my inventory is like full. Here's a log for you, sir. Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. Since a log in your bag. Oh, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's so funny. He's on the boat and then tried to pull the boat back to shore instead of letting us row back. I see. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, he's a chonky fire. <laughs> he's so cute. Now he just looks angry. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further. Illuminates lost corners of time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. He's my favorite character. Flamey's pretty pog. Now scout rank four. Oh. <sighs> That's right. I'm a scout rank four. Try me, everybody. 
I love this game. Oh, everybody's got things for me to do. Okay, hold on. Where is the homie that I have to talk to next? I just I just want to find him. Okay, there's a lot more space up here, so he's definitely up here. I don't want to click on him yet. <gasps> Which one has a big pink face? That looks like an, a radish. There's little radish ghosts. Ah! <laughs> You got anything else for me to buy? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of things. Where do I put this stuff? Just anywhere? I wish it Will I get like a little house or something at some point? Because I, I just have my... My, my little tent. I, and I can't even go inside it. Don't spoil anything for me. <laughs> Alright, Charlotte, what you got? What would you like to do? Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that can use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you go and buy it to bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Oh. Secreto. Two fifty. He dislikes imp. He likes decoration lamp, rustic decor. Yes, I'll buy him. I buy him. Do not worry. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't, won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot for it to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Uh, okay. I put him on the ground near my campfire. Can I place here? <gasps> He's cute. He want, is that a donut? It looked like he won a donut. <laughs> Sorry. It's probably because I won a donut. It actually looks like it's probably like a nut or something. But I don't know. I like donut better. I'd like to think in my mind that it's a donut. <laughs> Animal minder. Beginner. See, I get to place it on my on my sash, but I, I don't get to see my sash. All right. What what do you need, sir? Jeremy. Can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First, though, I'm going to need some soft wood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Okay, yeah, I definitely have the branches. Any root? Harvest from dirt mounds with a shovel. Because I was like, I have plenty of soft wood as well. Alright, I will do... Oh, there's a one here. I was going to go see uh, what other tasks I could get. Is that a root? Sick! Oh, that's a potato! Oh! <gasps> I love potatoes! Love potatoes. And I needed five of those? Four, three of those. Wow. There's so many people over here! Hello! <laughs> I love them. Home alone overnight and I am not a fan. I hate that. When Doug was gone for his couple nights, that turned into a week. I couldn't sleep until the sun came up. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. So he wants a feather. Go exploring. Look by a tarp. Okay, so this will be a, a search for feathers as well. Okay. Oh, I can't go up over here. Fortunately, my third shift schedule had me, uh, okay with being up all night until the sun rose, but 
Whoa! Okay, I guess I can go meet this new guy. Get some uh, leaf piles. Hello. Who are you? And the door locked, but I'm leaving the lights on? Oh, I would too. Pa Patrice? The postal bear at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for, the, for life, and uh, I am. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts? That's a whole new bag. Whole new mail bag? Ooh, busting out the postal humor from the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residencies. Ghost deliveries, though? They're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Oh, so I have to go find more things. All right, we're looking for stick piles, uh, a tarp. <laughs> what is this? Oh, look, it's the little radish guys. <laughs> I can't get over them. <laughs> They're so funny. I love them. It's a big leaf pile. Don't mind me. Fine, I'll, I will give you one log. Four more logs before I'm full. Just so I can have it not in my inventory. So what am I looking for? A tarp. I'm looking for dig spots. Ooh, a feather. Can I can I have this? Pick it up. Alright, that's one of the five. Best thing I think I ordered pizza for dinner. I didn't have to share. Oh, good stuff. We are actively making slow cooker pork chops. Pork chops? Pork chops. Uh, they'll be ready sometime between 10 and midnight. I need to try to go to bed early. This is my swap shift weekend. So I need to go from working from 11 to... Or from working from 10 to 6 a.m. To working from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, <laughs> technically probably 4.30... So cooker pork chops at 11, yeah, that's just, well, when you don't wake up till, like, 2 p.m., and usually during the week, it's not until, uh, uh, what, I usually don't wake up between, I usually wake up during the week sometime between 3 and 4, so, like, 11 is not late at all for me, but, yeah, I have to be ready to work 10-hour shifts. Uh, starting at 6 a.m., which is literally when I go to, when, when I sleep. So I have to, like, com again, completely swap my schedule. Oh, here's one. Is it getting any better? Mm, I don't know. I've, like, they haven't told us directly. I still am not particularly enjoying my job. I can do it. Uh, but I'm not enjoying it, really. I'm not learning anything, which is not a good thing. <laughs> um, but there might be some stuff coming down the, the grapevine from other things I've heard. Like, instead of being in this position a year, it might be shorter than that. Uh, they might want, or if they do make it shorter than that, then maybe they'll... Uh, put us into our next position sooner, and that position should come with a higher pay. Um, but I don't know what pay, I don't know what that position exactly entails, because they don't tell us anything. Everything that I've heard that I just said is through the grapevine of, like, 
the supervisors have heard this because they've been told this. Um, which, if that means this, then that means this, you know? Like, my shift supervisor was just saying how... He's like, oh, well, they're planning on getting rid of all the shift supervisors and having the engineers basically be the supervisor, but, like, a different engineering position. Um, but also... Uh... That mean they're like that's ha that seemingly is happening soon, but they haven't told us that. But that's the engineers that we're talking about. Those are the engineers that would be taking said supervisor's place, even though that's not what the position is. And they haven't told us anything. So <laughs> love not knowing things directly. So fun. It's just so frustrating because you know it's unknown. And who wants to be at a company where they don't even tell you what's going on. And, like, and it's not like I'm just, an, like, like, I'm only getting paid an operator where I don't need to know, like, what's going on with the company. Like, no, I'm an engineer for this company. And you guys are trying to figure things out about the engineers. I feel like I should know that information. Especially having moved here from out of state and none of my family is here. Like, it's gotten to the point that I've been frustrated where it's like, I already have, like, my lease here is up at the end of April. So unless things get, like, figured out, I won't have a choice but to figure something else out, you know? And it's just like, I, it's been hard. And frustrating, mostly. Because it's just like, I don't... It's not that hard to communicate. You know what I've learned? <laughs> They're all... Management of the company is like... All men that avoid confrontation at any cost. Which is not what a company needs. And they're just also unknowing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of... Uh, they think it's this way, but they've never... But they've never even been on the floor. So then it just makes us look stupid when we say something. And they're like, oh, that's not true. But we're like, yes, it is. But you're supposed to be the director or the manager of the company. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Can't believe we've been there for this long already. I know. It's been, uh, we've been here where we're at since, yeah, the 1st of May was when we started our basically move in process. I didn't start till I didn't start working till June. Um but yeah. I've been working there for three months already. Over three months now. Like I'm past the the ninety days. December will be six months and I haven't even calculated what's after that yet. Another three months after that, the nine-month mark would be beginning of March, or, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I would like to give the company the benefit of the doubt if they start communicating and, you know, telling us things, but I don't know. The lack of communication has just been, like, a, a massive, massive, like, turn, like, company turn off. I've been saying this for two months, but, like, I have no motivation to go into work. I actually get upset when I have to get ready for work to leave because of how much I don't like it. Like, my energy drops to the floor. Do you feel it? The rush of finding a package? The thrill of checking for a well-formatted address? Let me be straight with you. I love this job, but I could use a postal helper to find me or to help me with the USDs. Postal helper, how exciting. Oh yes, the thrill of the post. Unidentified supernatural deliverables, aka USDs, will be our primary assignment. Most of them are pretty tame. They might rattle or whisper, but that's it. But if you come across a troublesome package, one that's screaming in... 
Aramaic or spewing demon fire? Well, you just send that puppy my way. Oh, okay. That's the worst. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it too much. Um, because I mean, it's not a bad company. I've just, you know, been having problems. Because one way or another, that thing's bound to be addressed to me. Ooh, and it seems I've already received a letter addressed to you as well. Wait, I have a mailbox here? Yes, here it is. Two letters. Hi, it's me, Postal Bear. I send this letter to you via myself so you can see how it works. I've also included a little thank you for your help. Thank you. Cheerio, Scout. Hope you're settling into your solo camping adventure. Don't be disheartened if you can't find a needy ghost immediately. I intentionally picked a safe island that's not too haunted. When you finally find a ghost, try to help it make peace with itself. And when you do, you finally graduate to second degree. Scoutmaster Blake. P.S. I'll write to you every day unless I get busy. Oh! One common log cabin large sculpture? I'm intrigued. I can change the subject and probably take my practice test this week, and if I don't pass, I have a tutor line. I'm nice! Planning on not passing, I'm okay with it now. Well, that's okay. You know? Stuff happens. That's super exciting, though. Congrats. Yeah, the only reason I don't want to talk about it too much is because it's like... I don't know. I don't... I don't think anything that I'm saying would offend anybody, but I definitely don't want it to offend the company I work for if they would somehow see it. Um, or future employment or something like that. I'm not trash talking though. It's just, you know, issues. Drag and drop items from your inventory into the world. Place them precisely where you want them. Like this. A whole log cabin? Where would I place that? By my fire? What is that? A sweet potato! Funny because it's my mom's coworker who's a joint who works in the GD program and I absolutely love her. She made me mini chocolate and sweet strawberries on top. <gasps> that sounds so good. Can I place it like right here ah! <laughs> I thought it was a log cabin not a uh <laughs> looks best from the left side I think that's the one it's on <laughs> okay hold on I kind of want to put it like here yeah I was like I know because the bird likes it I lied let me put it on this side there we go Okay, let me give that to you. Here's a log for you. Oh, I thought I I thought I got two logs. I'm tripping. Since somebody has a log for me, yeah, I gotta go hand in these potatoes. Hey, bro. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered, and I bet you're wondering what sort of tool is he going to make for me now. Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass a skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know what you want if when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Adds again, paying your bills one way or another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Select one and learn recipe, then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. Yeah, let me make something right now. Great, let me show you uh, to my workshop. Oh. Hardwood, softwood, a semi-precious gem, a dining table, a comfy chair? Oh, you know I'm about to make a comfy chair. Sounds great, here are the materials. Comfy chair, comfy chair. I'm putting it by my fire. <laughs> comfy chair, comfy chair, comfy chair. Oh, do I have to like learn recipe? Log cabin delights. So we learned some log cabin delight. Oh, look at that. That's cute. It looks like a little mailbox. That's literally what it looks like, is a little mailbox. What's this one? 
a large sculptor. Sculpture? Oh, gothic. All right. Burb, you get a rustic chair now. <laughs> Ooh, what'd you give me? What is that? Spirit bird essence. Hmm. Can I sit in this chair? No. Pretty cringe. Two more logs, we're on full. Hannah, thank you for the tier one. Like three hard dance. Hard dance. <laughs> Harry dance. Yay, we back. Thanks for the sub, Hannah. I really appreciate it. And it's September. I always want to do, like, I was thinking about this, and I was like, I want to do a subathon for September, because that usually brings in a lot of viewership, but I'm like, I don't have time for a September. I'd literally have to take a break for 16 hours a day. <laughs> like, I'd have to get off to get ready for work and go to work. And then I have to... And then I, I, I have to sleep after work. So, can't wait until you two-year mark. It'll be wild. I know, you're at 16 months. What is that? 24 months? What even is my two-year badge? <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Oh, what's up, bro? You, know, you got something else for me? Heads up, postal helper. Looks like another uh, pass mark delivery incoming. When you're alive, when when you're alive, letters arrive at the post office a few days after they're sent. But ghost letters, they don't run on regular time, and they're likely to show up at non-standard addresses, like in leaf piles or behind rocks. So if you find any letters out there, please bring them by my office. Will do. Close me. Do not mind me. Yeah, two years will just... I'll be... crazy. Did you know that we're the only people playing this game on Twitch <laughs> right now? <laughs> I'm still trying to find or get clips i guess it doesn't feel like it's been a year i know and it's so weird that like everybody's like going back to school already um i need to play both need to play this game it's so cute it really is i kind of want to make a main channel video of this just add it to my list of main channel videos I need to be doing that more. My, not my supervisor, the production supervisor on my shift, I remember a couple weeks ago, and I've said this on stream, it's like, if it's something you really love to do, don't let, don't let your job that you don't like affect your, like, your at-home livelihood. Like, don't let it affect your hobbies. So he's like, even if it's just for one hour a day, try to, like, keep doing your stuff, whether that be streaming at least an hour a day, or editing a video for an hour, or um, editing TikToks and posting there, or, you know, just do things to further the, the stuff here, which I just, I really need to get back into. I'd love to <laughs> stream on TikTok. <laughs> But I I really do not want to have to point my phone at my screen. And the game sound wouldn't go through at all. Um, until I get 3,000 followers. Which, like I said, I think I'm 250 followers away. So, it is doable. I just... I just need to put, like... I don't even know what to post, because, like... All of my clips and stuff that I have so far, I feel like I've cl I've done already, but they don't they get they get a decent bit of view, not like a ton, like 400 views or so. And they get some likes for sure. Um but not many. It's only like 15 likes and that's not bringing in the uh, and so I don't get really get followers from that. So it's just hard. Don't let your bad job affect your future famous Twitch job. Listen, I'm trying. <laughs> My schedule just is awful, too. 
like I can do third shift working third shift isn't a problem for me I don't have struggle I don't struggle with sleeping I don't struggle with any of that but what makes it really hard is I can't like I feel like I can't really talk to people that much um, because I don't wake up till 4 p.m. And most people I know go to bed sometime between 8 and 10, like family, because they work, they work, uh, a normal shift, like, 6 or 7 to, like, 3 or 4. So, they're up for the rest of the night. It's, and I don't even go to work, and I go to work when they're pretty much sleeping. So, it's just like, I don't even talk to anybody. And when we went home to visit, we went home for Labor Day. Went to see Doug's family uh, because his birthday just passed and they do their uh, September birthday bash because a lot of their family has birthdays in the second half of the year. Um, So they do like a a birthday bash for everybody. Um, But Doug's birthday also fell on Labor Day this year. Um, So we went home or to his home and it was uh, really nice. But I, we left on Friday morning. Uh, Pretty much as soon as I got home from work, uh, we left, and I slept for the whole car ride there. I did sleep for a couple hours when he got home, because Doug didn't want to wake up yet, so we just waited to leave until, like, 10 instead of 7. But, yeah, (laughs) I slept for, like, two and a half hours in the car of the three-hour drive, and then I, um, I passed out on... Doug's parents' couch while we were just hanging out because I literally could not stay awake. That is the only way I can swap my schedule in one day. But then what sucked worse was that we, um, like, my schedule was okay for the next two days or whatever. But switching back onto my third shift schedule when we got home was just like a... I feel like third shift would depress me so much I can't handle it. Well, and every time I'm outside, it's dark. Like, we go to the store and stuff, obviously. Like, obviously, it's not dark for that. But when we... um, That's usually brief. Like, most people, they could start their morning commute or whatever. Like, the sun is out. It's nice. um, It may be a little hot or whatever. But, like, the sun is out. And, like, that automatically, like, gives you energy, usually. Like, the vitamin D is real. I don't get any of that. I go to work when it's dark. I get off of work and I'm home by the time the sun is rising. So it's just dark all the time every time I go outside. And then I sleep away half of the daylight. (laughs) And it's only going to get worse as winter comes because the sun's going to set at like 6 or 7. And I wake up at (laughs) 4. So... Squawk, that's a fine set of feathers, but why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly, hard neighborly. You might find some, uh, what put stock in the concept here at Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds still, I thank ye. With these bits of fluff, pad my coat. The wind's bite does, uh, lose some teeth. Bundled so, rule of the athlete comes to me, clear as white rum, even in death you cannot refeather your wings. Aw. Got the time, Jane's gonna be awful, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be dark at like 6 p.m. I'm gonna, only going to see the sunlight for two hours because of my sleeping schedule. <laughs> and it is really weird. So when I first took this job, my dad even told me, he's like, I've never heard of an engineer doing shift work. And I was like, yeah, but maybe it's different, you know. Whatever. Uh, someone has a long evening to even help them. Yes, I know. <laughs> but yeah. And I feel like I should have known that as a red flag being an engineer on a third shift should have been a red flag but it wasn't um i'm just happy i got an offer like a job offer um and i get paid really well to do something that i don't like but um sorry i don't enjoy but yeah third shift hasn't been hard in terms of like me personally but I know like when I was having a really not fun time at my job kind of close to the beginning um before I had like plans and thoughts and stuff about the future when I was first starting and I just felt like I was stuck it was a very 
I very rarely felt like happy even at home just because it was like every day I just feel like I wake up and I eat food and then I go to a job that I do not enjoy and then I wake and then I go to bed and then I wake up and then I didn't have anybody to talk to about it either like I could talk to Doug but I was super stressed at that time so he told me he's like um hearing you talk about how stressful your work is really stresses me out because I know how it makes you feel so to me I'm like oh my gosh I don't want to talk about my work to you then because I don't want you to get stressed out you're already dealing with enough figuring stuff out I wonder if there's like a I tried to click M because I was like, is there a map maybe? No, M is badges in this. I feel like this is a game. <laughs> I keep finding games that I want to play like all the time. And I feel like this is gonna be one of those games. <laughs> But I will, it's one of the games that I'm like, I don't want to not play it on stream, though, because this is a good, I feel like a good, like, stream game, but also it's pretty vibey. This one I feel like I could do. This one I feel like I could wait to play just on stream. Um, but I will have to play it a couple times uh, a day, or at least once a day. It says it's recommended one or two hours a day just to even get on and, like, check stuff, so... I don't mind doing that. I pretty much do that with RuneScape right now. Always here if you need to talk. Thanks, Anna. I try to text my sister usually, um, if it's in the first part of my shift. Because my sister lives in... I think she lives in New Mexico right now. Or she lives in Texas, like, Texas, New Mexico area. Right there on that corner. She lives there. Uh, and so she's, what, three hours behind? So, like, right now, maybe only two hours. It's either 6.20 or 7.20 for her right now. So when I go to work at uh, 10, it's only, like, 7 for her. So I can easily, like, text her up until uh, 10 p.m. or so. Until her 10 p.m., which is my 1 a.m. So, like, I have a decent chunk of time to text her. Um, but, yeah. Because if something happens at work that really frustrates me, my number one thing I want to do is, like, rant about it and get support. <laughs> but nobody is usually awake, so I'm just sitting there, like... I just let it boil for a little bit, and then eventually it simmers out, but... <laughs> Okay, I need to find these three letters. Look near a sculpture made of sand. Okay. Is it this pile? Nice. Okay, there's still a uh, sculpture made of sand thing. But yeah, I am going to try to stream at least a little more. I do want to... Gosh, I wish I could just, you know, get the followers on TikTok. <laughs> so I can just... Because they have... So TikTok actually has its, like, own version of OBS. Um, So, like, I could stream OBS on Twitch and on TikTok, but in separate apps. So I don't even have to, like, do two instances of OBS. Which is super nice. Um, And TikTok just gets so much better traction with how people scroll through it. So I just, I really want to do that, but I don't. <laughs> and like without, like if I just put my phone up here and even just faced it like towards my OBS, well, the quality wouldn't be that great. I feel like that wouldn't give follows or anything. I just need to figure out like things to post. I should get another uh, like ink box tattoo or something. Have people <laughs> follow me or something. I got to look back at what like the biggest videos I have and maybe try to do some more of those or something. Best part about this game is that, is that the hardest part is looking around for things and they give you clues. Well, it's funny because some of the clues aren't even very, 
very good. Okay, sand sculpture. Look near a sculpture made of sand behind something. I don't see any leaf patches here, but it's behind something apparently. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. But I've been very into, at least lately, like watching like cozier, you know, like good vibes. One of the number one people that I watch for like just good vibe streams is actually somebody that I followed on YouTube for a long time. She's actually one of my favorite. I, my comment was in one of her videos um, back in 2016. Like, if that's any scale of how long I've been watching this person. Um, she's actually such an inspiration for me. Um, not just her. The number one person I think gave me the motivation to want to start YouTube was I Has Cupquake. I started watching her Minecraft Oasis series. A very, very, like, that's the first thing I ever watched on YouTube. And I remember going to my dad's, because my mom would not let me watch youtube or anything like that so every time i go to my dad's i'd look um i'd get on their tablet because they didn't care uh they didn't care they were like oh watch whatever you want like you're watching video games i'm we're fine with that and it was just minecraft so i'd go there and i'd catch up on all my videos for the week or whatever and that just made me I, <laughs> oh wait is that on my my i think it might be on uh, this phone no i don't think it's on this phone i think it's on an old save of one of my phones i <laughs> was playing minecraft with my stepsister and i had my phone and i pointed it at our tv and my stepsister and i kathleen where the alley cat comes from I recorded a video using my phone, pointed at our TV while we played Xbox Minecraft. <laughs> I was, like, so determined to be a YouTuber, but I didn't have anything to edit with, so I was like, I don't even know how I'm gonna put this out there. <laughs> um, and I could only do it at my dad's. So, <laughs> it actually makes me laugh so much thinking about that. Um... But yeah, I uh, I give my main props to her. But like now, like evolving or growing up, I as Cupcake still a massive inspiration. Oh my gosh, her videos are amazing. Uh, she even just had her son. I feel like not super long ago, and she's back in action now with uh, content creation and everything, and she's doing great. But one of the other people that I've also, I think I started watching her after um i think it was probably a uh she one of those events maybe but shovel shelby i started watching her by the time before i was even a freshman in high school because i remember doing a hangman game during our finals week and one of her old Minecraft tag names was a Lil Shorty SGS. Um, before she became Shubble. And I made that the hangman and nobody knew what it was. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. Um, but it's like little things like that that I remember. Don't make me pull. I will pull up her video right now that my comment is in because I saved it. <laughs> And it's actually not even my private, um, it's not even my private channel. I posted it on my Alley Cat channel. Here we go. My favorite YouTuber that my comments is in. I'll just put the link in the chat if anybody wants to watch it because I am recording. Um, this was from seven years ago. <sighs> Ah, I have to go take my meds here in a second. Let me just mute this. 
<laughs> okay, let me see if I can get the uh, the correct timestamp for this. She was doing a review, like an over the year review. She it's it's just a reading YouTube comments, and it was like the end of the year, so she was reading some like, oh, I'm looking forward to the next chapter or whatever. So if you don't want to watch it, my comment specifically says, hold on, I'm still trying to get it, says, you are amazing, and I hope to be as amazing as you someday. You're amazing at Minecraft, and she said, oh, no, I'm not, and I said, and I wish to someday play games with you, and I can't wait to see what is in store for 2016. She read that. <laughs> I'll put the uh, comment in the chat. It's at 2 minutes and 27 seconds in that video. Uh, <laughs> I still get cheesed at it sometimes. <laughs> but that was me saying, I can't wait to see, like this is me having watched her and now writing a comment that says, can't wait to see what's in store for 2016. So this means it was pre-2016. <sighs> But she now, she has grown so much as well as a person and video game wise. And oh my gosh, as a content creator, she's almost at a million subs. Like she's almost at her one mil mark. Like, and there's so many other people that I watch, like um, MythZan and your pal Ross, who I think I also found from Shubble actually. Or, like, they're all connected somehow. Um, you know what I think it was? I think before all the Sky Does Minecraft stuff happened, um, I watched him. when I, I watched Cupquake, who did a video with him. So I started watching him. And that's when he had the offices. So that's when I started watching MythZan and your pal Ross, who was house owner at the time. Um... And then, the joke, so people would stop shipping Shelby and Ross, was to say that they were cousins because MythZan and Shovel had a series together. So that's where I got introduced to Shovel. And I had seen her around from other things. Like, I think I occasionally watch a S major video, a Scott video, and she was in those. Um... Everything's connected. Sometimes I'll watch a video and I'll be like, they know this person? <laughs> yeah, but that's definitely my, like, my number one. My number one YouTuber that I watch right now is Mitzan. My still number one, like, female inspo that started, that wanted me to start YouTube, Eyes Cupcake. My current inspiration for content creation like, my highest on the list is definitely Shubble and Kara Corvus. Kara's a sh mostly a streamer. Her content's great. Um, she also has reptiles and stuff, uh, which is very fun. She has snakes. I love watching her stuff. She's just very real. And she, all the people are, like, I strive to not only be them in content creation, but, like, they're all just also pretty people. Like, they're all so pretty. I'm like, I could never. <laughs> okay, I'd really... I really just want to find this last letter. Because <laughs> I may... What time is it? It's 9.40. It has it in game now. I don't even have to look at my computer. Um, I know it was a little bit shorter stream. It's only been an hour and a half. You're still pretty stop. Huh? Very funny, Hannah. Um, there's a reason why all the pictures, uh, that I have are from, like, three years ago. Uh, <laughs> I have definitely been better <laughs> looking than I am right now. Um... Is this a... Where is this last letter, bro? Sculpture my butt. Okay. 
but yeah they're literally like they're all just beautiful humans and like their looks are really amazing and their confidence is amazing and overall just great inspirational people i want to be that for somebody and i'd like to get there but it's hard to get there where is this thief pile it says it's behind sand is this sand up here i don't think this is sand this is dirt We've been playing this for how long? You're crazy. You're you're a good role model to your friends because they're all crazy and chaotic. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. <laughs> Bro, if this leaf pile does not show up with this other letter. Yeah, because I want to eat some dinner, hang out a little bit. Um... Just relax a little bit. Find some other things to watch. Uh, I do think I'm gonna... I have off tomorrow, too. Uh, I know, first, like, three days at home. <laughs> I, uh... In a long time, actually. Because uh, last weekend was the first three-day weekend I had in about a month. That was the first two-day weekend I had in about a month, and it ended up being three days. And it was a. Uh, it was full. Because we went home. So we saw our friends. It was Doug's birthday. Everything like that. Um, anywho. I already talked about that. Am I? Like. Does anybody see this freaking leaf pot? Bruh. Ugh. Was right there the whole time you know how many times i went over there and checked that it's fine here's your sealed letters bro but yeah i'd like to relax and uh chill and then i think tomorrow i will uh uh, I think I'll stream a little bit more. Hey, you found some loose letters. Thank you card for Jeremy. Lawsuit notice for Clyde and bills for my wife, Lonja. And here's one for me. Ah, threat of disembowelment by a hundred skeletal claws. Standard stuff. I'll make sure the rest of these get to the right place. And hey, check in with me once in a while in case I've got anything for you. Yay! Oh, he gave me stuff. What'd you give me? Pot of Dahlia? Ooh. Let me go plant that. I try to be a good role model, but there are definitely... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like that I am just not even close to that. Yay. It's cute. What else did I get? I have the other thing. What is this? Scout book page. It's important object important to someone, but they may not have be ready to receive it yet. Okay, hold on. Sorry. I have like an alarm set for 9.30 for me to go take my meds. Uh, but I don't want to get up right now, especially if I'm about to end shortly. Here's a log for you. Heh. <laughs> I'm getting hungrier for more spirit with each time you feed me. And that spirit wood is growing harder to find. How can that be when there are still so many needy shadows hiding in Cozy Grove? I can be at least 13 more lost souls waiting to be helped. Wait, I see someone standing in a forest. Or am I mistaken? Perhaps such as an oddly shaped tree. Do you think I imagine I'm supposed to two at eight? Whoops. <laughs> Scout rank five. I can't wait to go tell Doug, I'm scout rank 5 in my game. And he's going to be like, I don't know what that means. I'll be like, just be happy. <laughs> Yay, we got the silver, the silver, the intermediate badge. I'm actually kind of intrigued at something. Fire level 10. What is this one? 
Played two days. Doable. Very doable. Oh, here's this one. Complete ten story quests. Wow, that's pretty good. Fifty story quests. That means... They want ten. Fifty. I'm guessing this one's a hundred, and this one's probably five hundred. It's a lot. Just be happy with me for real, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, playing multiple seasons? Oh my gosh. So this is one of the games that's like... Like it even works like Animal Crossing, where it works like the season is now. Oh boy. All right, let's just see what we have. We have lots of mushrooms. Um, really quickly before we get off, we have t almost two thousand coins. And I said Animal Crossing. I meant it. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I would like to buy something. What have you got? So you have another bird store upgrade catalog oh well, right now saving up for this spirit camera for some reason my selfies got a lot of likes from group conspiracy theorists buy film from mr kit and use jeremy's workbench to refill the camera oh interesting uh i think i want to sell stuff i'm going to sell a stack of i'm going to sell a stack of mushrooms for 2,500 coins? Whoa. That's a lot of coins. So I guess that's just something you could do is uh, go fishing, too. And probably sell the fish. Get money that way. <sighs> oh. Ooh, entrepreneurship. What do you do with quartz gemstones? I want to know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, let's uh, save real quick. And let's go back to the main menu. Um, that is going to conclude our first uh, playing of Cozy Grove. Um, this is actually such a cute game. I am so glad that I bought this today. <laughs> Um, we will probably play some of this tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to try to update this, or upload this video tonight. That way, if anybody sees it on YouTube, they can be on time for stream tomorrow. Um, if they want to watch more. I also plan on, so I plan on playing this for a little bit in the morning. I also plan on starting to play Traveler's Rest tomorrow. Um... And yeah, I'm super excited. If you're watching the VOD, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Catch it live over on twitch.tv slash allycat3224. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.